With the end of Dragonflight Season 1 looming, it can often be a daunting couple weeks for us arena enjoyers. Achievements, appearances, mounts, titles, gold, pride, everything is on the line. This time though, Skillcapped is here to hold your hand through it. As we've thought about every class and spec in WoW Arena, collected data from the latter, and interviewed rank 1 and professional players to get their opinions, all with the end goal of finding out the best 3v3 composition for your spec, as well as how said composition matches up to everyone else. Before we get into it though, if you seriously want to climb rating and achieve your goals this season, nothing's better than our brand new Master in Minutes product over at our website, skillcap.com. It's there we take the highest priority skills proven to help you climb the ladder at a rapid rate, and then break them down into a step-by-step -step course of bite-sized 1-2 to two minute videos that are easy to understand and digest. So while you wait for your next solo shuffle game to pop, you can learn everything you need to climb. That's not all though, as every week we release brand new arena commentaries where rank 1 players teach you how to win in even the trickiest of matchups. Seems too good to be true? Well don't worry, we're backed by a rank up guarantee. If you don't significantly improve while actively using skill capped, then you get your money back, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and get the rating you've always wanted. But now, back to the video. Kicking things off, we have the S tier, which includes the absolute strongest comps for the end of season meta. Coming as no surprise to anyone, the first of which is Retribution Paladin, Arms Warrior, Mistweaver Monk, which just so happens to be the best composition for all specs involved. This is a composition that's been at the forefront of the meta since the Retribution Paladin rework, completely taking over both the ladder and tournament scene as a whole. And is still going strong despite the plethora of nerfs Retribution has received over the last few weeks. Really though, there isn't much to say here, we all know how strong this composition can be. And taking the two best melee right now, which just so happen to synergize perfectly together, then pairing them up with a Fist Weaver, how could this not be strong? Before we get further into the video, as we're going to be including a composition for every spec, there's naturally going to be a lot of overlap, especially when it comes to healers. How we're going to combat this is by giving you this little infographic at the bottom left of your screen, where you can see any alternative healers or specs for the composition, where it ranks in the tier list, as well as a crown to allow you to easily identify when it's a certain spec's best overall composition. But back to the video. Pairing up with a Retribution Paladin just so happens to also be the best composition for all three of you masochist Fury Warrior players still sticking with the spec, but due to the lack of a reliable mortal strike effect, the composition as a whole will then drop down to a C tier. Moving swiftly on, the next composition making the cut for that coveted S tier spot is Demonology Warlock, Frost Mage, Preservation of Ochre. Mage Lock has always been a timeless composition and has had pretty much every variation and combination of all six specs be meta at some point and could still do well to this day. Right now though, Demonology and Frost is the go-to, primarily due to the sheer amount of durability that both specs bring to the table, which then allows for Preservation of Ochre to play to its strengths, aiding in utility, damage, and helping their team to kite. The synergy between Mage and Locke is the perfect groundwork for a multitude of different variations, and really any healer can slot into the composition and perform well. And as it happens, two of the weakest healers right now in Holy Paladin and Restoration Druid both happen to also have this current variation in Mage Locke as their best compositions for gaining rating right now. However, in doing so, move the overall strength of the comp down from an S tier to A tier. Next up, we've got a rather new addition to the meta that takes two specs that are not necessarily performing at the highest level when singled out, but when paired up, make for the best caster melee composition right now. Demon Hunter, Destruction Warlock, Restoration Shaman. All three specs have been having great success with this one, making it the best option for all three. Why this comp works so well is just down to the sheer amount of damage it's capable of doing, especially when you factor in that Destro benefits greatly from both the increased chaos damage that Demon Hunters bring, as well as Sky Fury from Shamans. As a whole, the comp's good into casters, as you can just overwhelm them on top of bringing a ton of disruption. Good into melee cleaves with the constant cleave damage, and potential of even playing seduce for that little bit of added crowd control. Another completely bonkers spec this patch is Beast Mastery Hunter, who alongside Feral Druids and Disciplined Priest make up our penultimate S tier composition. Jungle Cleave, much like Mage Lock, has been around for as long as we can remember, and the synergy between Feral and Hunter is undoubtedly timeless, providing that consistent high pressure paired up with instant crowd control that demands your opponents play perfect defensively. What's managed to catapult this composition into our S tier was the recent buffs to Disciplined Priest, which now when combined with the inherent power of Beast Mastery 
industry enables it to do very well into most meta compositions, especially Magelock, despite Feral not performing all that well outside of this one comp. As it happens, Jungle Cleave is also the best composition to push with if you prefer to play the more demanding spec of survival over Beast Mastery, but again this will cause the composition to drop in power slightly, putting it inside of our A tier. And the same applies for Priest players opting to rather play Holy instead of Discipline, as it's the combination of Beast Mastery, Disc, and Feral that gets Jungle into S tier. Swapping to Holy Priest, despite it being their overall strongest composition, will cause Jungle to again drop down to A tier. On a similar pegging with Jungle Cleave, our final S tier composition is Retribution Paladin, Beast Mastery, Discipline Priest, or Restoration Shaman, but can quite honestly be played with any healer to varying success. Despite not being what we would call the overall best composition for any of these four specs included, PHP or PHS is a comp that takes the overwhelming pressure of BM and pairs it up alongside the high bursts of Retribution where combined they offer a great mix between instant crowd control, survivability, and utility. Then, as with most Hunter compositions, you can of course swap between specs, and Rhett Hunter just so happens to be the most reliable option for those that prefer playing marksmanship. Where you can look to sync up your incredibly high burst damage with that of a Retribution Paladin to make for a very dangerous duo, but without that consistent pressure from BM, the comp will unfortunately drop down one tier. With our S-tier compositions now out of the way, as well as even some of our lower tier comps also being covered, you'll now see on screen a quick recap of where we're up to at this point. Next, we'll be focusing on our primarily A-tier compositions, starting with an Elemental Shaman's best composition to push this season in the form of Elemental, Demonology Warlock, and then either a Preservation Evoker or Mistweaver Healer. This composition plays essentially the same way as Mage Lock, combining the consistent high pressure that Elemental Shamans bring alongside the high damage and healing reduction from Demonology Warlock. Compared to the Mage version though, this is considerably weaker as it lacks all of that additional control that a Frost Mage would otherwise bring. Quite honestly though, Elemental can pair up alongside most other casters like Frost Mage, Destruction Warlock, or even Balanced Druids to varying levels of success. The A tier is unfamiliar territory for our next spec of Assassination Rogue, whose best comp, to no surprise to anybody, is when paired up alongside a Frost Mage and either a Preservation Evoker or Disciplined Priest. RMP has been a safe haven for almost all Rogue and Mage specs for a long time now, with the current strongest rendition being Asa Frost. Our consultants wanted to put this composition in S tier, as when in capable hands, Rogue Mage can still be a powerhouse. For us average Joes though, I think A tier is far more justifiable. But what do you think? Let us know down in the comments below. Just like Batman and Robin or Bonnie and Clyde, rogues and mages make for the perfect duo. This means, despite a few exceptions, the lesser represented specs of both mage and rogue, so either subtlety, outlaw, fire, or arcane, are all going to perform best when paired up with the strongest spec of the other class. So both subtlety and outlaw can play with frost mage and either discipline priest or preservation evoker, and both fire and arcane can play with assassination, and once again either discipline priest or preservation evokers. We will, however, be clumping all of these variations inside of our tier as the strength can massively vary and we've not seen enough of any of these specs to give a completely accurate placing. Moving away from rogues and mages now, our next spec with a composition inside of A tier is Balanced Druid when paired up alongside Havoc Demon Hunter and Restoration Shaman. This composition is one that has always drifted in and out of the meta and is heavily reliant on not only the strength of Balanced Druid as a whole, but also how effectively some of the more meta compositions can deal with Root Beam. Last but not least, the final composition making it into our A tier is one for Windwalkers and is when paired up alongside a Retribution Paladin and Fist Weaver's Monk. This is a composition that really puts the pedal to the metal, and what it lacks in crowd control, it makes up with in explosive burst damage. Not all that popular of a composition, but current go-to for top Windwalkers. Bringing back our recap slide again, before we drop down and focus on the B tier specs, we're going to populate the A tier with some additional popular compositions that while equally as viable are not what we deem the strongest overall for the spec, such as Elemental Boomy, Demon Hunter Retribution Paladin, Destro Frost Mage, and Destro Assassination. Now it's time to venture down to the mid-tiers with our first selection of B-tier compositions, but we want to remind you of one super important thing. Being on the B-tier is not bad, it simply means being average. Anything we're about to mention is still competitive and can still achieve high rating, but might have a few more difficult matchups compared to anything we've covered so far. So if you're sad to see your favorite comp on the B-tier, don't worry. Most things we're about to mention are still currently being played by rank 1 players to the highest rating possible. 
First, being Shadow Priest, Demonology Warlock, Restoration Shaman. Currently offering the best chance for Shadow Priest to navigate through 3v3, overall this has the groundworks for being a very strong composition. What holds this composition back though is just the state of the meta, where it's an uphill battle playing into specs like Fist Weavers and certain cleaves. Also struggling to find a footing this patch are Enhancement Shamans. That being said, especially over in North America, Rank 1 Shaman Saul has still been finding success in the ladder with a combination of Turbo Cleave and Windwalker Enhancement. Out of the two, the best chance at gaining a quick influx of rating would be when playing Turbo with an Arms Warrior and Fist Weaver Monk. Next up, we've got Death Knights, who sadly have both of their DPS specs underperforming now. Unholy Death Knights players are finding the best of luck opting to play with either a Demon Hunter or Arms Warrior, and then either a Mist Weaver, Preservation, or Restoration Shaman Healer. Out of the options, the highest rated DK found the most success with DK DH Preservation. Frost Death Knights, on the other hand, prefer a more setup based approach by teaming up with both Windwalker and Mistweaver Monk. Where given some coordination, you can look to stack enemies up in a leg sweep and burst alongside your monks. Before we jump into another recap and populate our tier list with some additional composition options, we're going to quickly take a look at our C tier. Devastation Evokers are the first spec entering our C tier. Sadly, for enjoyers of the spec, it's just way too telegraphed and predictable, and as a result, has only really been capable of performing in one niche composition. That being when paired up alongside Frost Death Knight, and then either a Mistweaver or Discipline Priest Healer. Last up, the only other spec we've yet to mention that also finds itself in our C tier is Affliction Warlock. Quite honestly, there isn't much reason to play Affliction right now with how strong both Destruction and Demonology are, at least not until Fist Weaving has been perished from all of Azeroth. Until then though, if you enjoy brushing your teeth with a wire brush, the only recommendation we can even offer would be to get creative and play with an Assassination Rogue, as they're one of the few specs that can look to provide Affliction room to cast and kite while enabling room for kill potential. Alright then, so bringing back and finalizing our recap slide with a few more additional comps that have seen play this season. Remember, as we mentioned at the start of the video, the comps that we deem the strongest for each spec have the spec icon marked with a crown. And before we close out the video, there are a few disclaimers that have to be said. Firstly, while we've got quite an extensive list here, there are still plenty more viable compositions for each spec that you can play, and you are by no means strictly limited to what's on this list. Second of all, in every composition we've suggested one or two healers that we consider the best options, but for the large majority majority of compositions out there, you can truthfully, within reason, slot in most other healing specs to similar results. But whether you want to finally achieve that rating you've always wanted, or maybe just want to get ahead of the competition come Season 2, in the description below you'll find a special discount link to sign up for SkillCap.com. It's there you'll be able to find our famous Arena Class courses that teach you Rank 1 fundamentals that are proven to increase your rating. Why we're so confident in our teachings is because we're the only service on the market that works alongside some of the most elite players in all of WoW. And these same Rank 1 Gladiators upload weekly Arena commentaries breaking down difficult matchups in easy to follow steps. Don't believe us? Well, what is there to lose? All this comes back with a rating gain guarantee, and if you don't gain at least 400 rating from using our service, you'll get your money back, no questions asked. And as always, thank you for watching, good luck on your end of season climb, and from everyone here at Skillcapped, we hope you have a great rest of the day.